Hello and welcome back to the channel and today you join me for this week's Forzathon which is called Blower Bentley. Now this wants you to own and drive the 1931 Bentley 4.5 litre supercharged. Now there are a few spelling mistakes typos in here. First of all it's the 1930 Bentley Blower 4.5 litre supercharged not 31 and also there's another one I think further on in the challenge but first of all we're going to have a look at the car we're using now this is the 1930 Bentley blower like I said but it is a correct one it will set you back 4 million credits from the auto show if you buy it from there now you can win these in wheel spins or there are a couple in the auction house I know it is a very expensive car I have tried looking at all of the accolades but unfortunately none of them give you this car as a prize so you will have to front the cost of it it is a bit of a shame as not everyone has that sort of money, but if you do, that's how much it will set you back. Now, I've also created a tune to help you along with this week's Forzathon. Share code is 518-333-066, and hopefully that should help you smash these challenges. Now, the first one here wants you to earn a total of 9 stars at Speed Zones. So the speed zone I recommend using is the festival speed zone. This is at the main festival hub. Three stars on here is 110 mile an hour. Two stars is 85 and one star is 45. So it has quite low score and sort of point system on this one. So you don't have to achieve massive high speeds. And it is a relatively quick one to complete as well. So like I said, 110 mile an hour, three stars. Two stars is only 85 mile an hour, which is what I seem to be hitting the target of. But that doesn't really matter because it only really means that you need to do about five runs um, in order to complete the challenge but each run probably takes you about 10-15 seconds so it's a really really quick one to get like I said it doesn't matter if you don't get three stars on all of them just accumulate a total of nine stars now the next challenge here wants you to win three road racing series events. So for a challenge like this, I always head over to the Arch of Muleage circuit. The reason is I've got a race created for you guys. It's called Forzathon Easy. Share code is 110-316-804. And this is a race with no AI driver tars, so you can complete it sort of at your leisure, if you will. There's no real rush, although it only takes about a minute to complete each race. So you've just got to do that three times. Like I said, it's nice and easy because there's no AI driver tiles on it do it on whatever difficulty you want just complete it three times and obviously every time you do you'll be the winner because there's no opposition to compete against which is pretty good now moving on to the final challenge here in which I think there is a typo because it says it wants you to drive 100 miles. Now obviously I pre-record my videos so it might be a case that tomorrow the progress bar just says 10 miles or 20 miles. If it doesn't um, then you will have to of course drive 100 miles which is a bit of a shame because it's a bit annoying. But to complete a challenge like this as quickly as possible, I recommend heading over to the main highway. Now you can do races, you could do the Goliath race, you could do three laps of that if you want to complete this challenge. Um, I know it is a bit tedious if it is 100 miles, which I do highly doubt, as I don't think they'd want to put people through that sort of pain. But if it is, then you've just got to keep pushing through. Um, I think each sort of length of the highway is about 8 or 9 miles, so you'll have to do it about 10, 11 times in order to complete this challenge which in all fairness will only take about 10 minutes but it is quite tedious i know um, now like i said this car is four million credits so it is quite expensive it may be a prize in the forzathon shop like i said i pre-record these so that may be the case but if it's not you will have to try and scrounge one from the auction house for cheap or purchase it in the auto show for four million credits um, or you could win one in a wheel spin to be fair but it is a bit annoying because it's quite an expensive car. But I think I read that they are looking into reducing sort of the, the criteria for certain challenges. So using cars that are more readily available for everyone that doesn't have tons of credits in future Forzathons and stuff like that. Uh, but if you are struggling with any other challenges, please do let me know down below in the comments. I'm more than happy to help you guys out. Uh, hopefully this guide did help. If it did, I would very much appreciate if you could drop a like and hitting that subscribe button massively helps me out as well. But apart from that, I want to wish you all the best. Make sure you stay safe and take care.